Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video in 5 Day Forecast. For today's first video, having a detailed look at whether it's five days across the British Isles, as always, on a Wednesday. Later on today, we'll have a look at the weather next week, the same days. We might include the Blazing Climate Centre for the next 40 days in with that as well. Uh, so we're going to start off, I say, with the five day forecast. It's going to be an unsettling, changeable five days ahead. Some uh, quite showery, wet weather to come, particularly for eastern parts of the country, with winds turning into the north. The main thing may actually be some very cool temperatures for the uh, middle part of September, uh, particularly from tomorrow going through to Saturday. Some very cool temperatures on the way indeed. By the end of the 5D broadcast period, we might be seeing high pressure coming back from the Azores, possibly indicating a recovery in uh, temperature and pressure as we go through into uh, next week. We're going to start off, though, by looking at the situation from this day last year, because a huge contrast with the weather from uh, today through to the same day last year. This will be starting pressure chart for Tuesday, 13th of September 2016. And it was a very, very hot day. We've got this ridge over Scandinavia and to the central eastern part of Europe. We're on the eastern side of that ridge, on the western side of that ridge, I should say. And we're pulling up this uh, very hot southerly wind with this thundery area of low pressure coming out of France and heading into southern parts of England. So this day last year saw temperatures going to 34 degrees in the south. That's 94 Fahrenheit. It was very, very humid as well. And we did have some thundery activity from this thundery area of low pressure. Here is the upper air temperatures from this day last year. Really hot day. We've got the 15 Celsius ice firm there covering much of England and Wales above 15 Celsius with those upper air temperatures down in the south and that's what saw those temperatures soaring into the low to mid 30 celsius very unusually hot day this day uh, last year well complete contrast uh today we have a look at the temperatures this is from the weatheroutlook.com by the way if i link to weather outlook on the links page so uh this is the current these are the current temperatures and uh, for much of england and wales were at sort of just 13 14 15 or 16 degrees. Further north of that, actually, where we've got this heavy rain across the east of Scotland, temperatures are down at just 10 degrees, 50 Fahrenheit. So for many parts of the country, we're looking at temperatures between around 15 and 20 degrees cooler today compared to the same day uh, last year. Huge contrast in uh, the two years. So this is the radar picture from the weather outlook and we've got this heavy rain here across eastern parts of Scotland. Elsewhere it's much more showery. So we've got the showers across western, southwest Scotland down into northwestern parts of England, southwest of England too. For central and eastern parts of the country it's actually been most dry. It's been a nice one, a bit blowy. We did have Storm Aileen. Uh, last night, not quite sure what you made of Storm Aileen, whether you think it was worth the effort of naming it and issuing all of the warnings that were issued um, by the UK Met Office. But uh, we did have the area of low pressure overnight and uh, that's gone now. And it's left us with a fairly nice day actually across eastern parts of the country. We've got these showers in the west and they will transfer east was a little bit through the course of the day, but actually many east areas will tend to uh, stay dry. Here's the restarted pressure chart. So that area of low pressure sitting across uh, Denmark is, or was, uh, named Storm Aileen. So that's uh, autumnal area of low pressure, nothing particularly out of the ordinary, I wouldn't have thought, just a standard area of low pressure. I suppose it's a little bit early to be getting the 985 millibar area of low pressure in the middle of September, perhaps. But anyway, whatever you made of it, that's gone in Denmark, and it's left us with this west northwesterly wind that's bringing in the showers. And, of course, we've got that more persistent rain across the east of Scotland as well. So, for the rest of today, showers in the west, so persistent rain across the east of Scotland. Eastern parts of England tend to be actually be mostly dry with sunny spells. Some showers will push through, um, but they don't have dry weather in the east, most of the showers in the west. It does feel very chilly in these strong winds. So, temperatures today are going to be ranging from around 12 to 18 degrees Celsius, a little bit below average for uh, middle of September, but the wind will actually make it feel uh, cooler than that. 
Overnight tonight, the wind's actually going to start to turn into the north. We'll bring a band of showers down through northern England. I think they'll turn pretty light, uh, light through the course of the night. Elsewhere, showers will actually tend to die back towards coasts, and most places will turn dry. It's going to be quite a cold night tonight with temperatures from around 5 to uh, 10 degrees Celsius. Now, Thursday sees the winds in from the north, so very different wind direction to what we had this time last year when the wind was coming up from the south and the southeast. This northerly wind is going to be bringing showers with it. They're going to be mainly in the east through the course of uh, Thursday and up in the north as well, but west tending to get the driest of the weather. So eastern parts of the country see showers building up through the course of day. They could turn quite heavy. There's risk of crack of thunder and some hail mixed in. Yeah, it's probably colder for a few flakes of snow to turn up over the Scottish mountains uh, tomorrow afternoon. But west tending to get mostly dry weather with sunny spells, although even here, showers can't be ruled out. Temperatures are going to be very, very cool tomorrow, ranging from around 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. That is well below average for uh, the middle of September. Uh, winds in from the north still on Friday. We're bringing a uh, weather front down the eastern side of the country. So overnight Thursday into Friday, I think you see rain, showers merging into more persistent areas of rain in the northeast of England. And that rain will spread down the eastern side through the course of Friday morning. Some of it could be quite heavy and persistent. So this is affecting places like Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, the Midlands, East Anglia, and down into southeastern England. Some quite heavy and persistent outbreaks of rain on uh, Friday. And if we've been sort of three months on or four months on, that will probably have been pers persistent outbreaks of snow uh, on the eastern side. So, uh, again, one of those situations where we've had the northerly winds at uh, kind of like the wrong time of the year. Anyway, we've got outbreaks of rain in the east on Friday morning, sunshine and showers out in the west, and those brighter showery conditions will gradually spread southwards and eastwards through the course of the day on Friday. Um, although even in the afternoon, the showers are likely to be quite heavy and persistent over in the east. And another very, very cool day with temperatures of just 9 to 14 degrees Celsius. Uh, it can feel more like late October than uh, mid-September, especially where we've got those persistent outbreaks of rain. Into the weekend, and we keep uh, low pressure close to the country, particularly the eastern part of the country on Saturday, but high pressure starting to ridge out to the northwest. So I would have thought Scotland and Northern Ireland gets a mostly dry day on Saturday with sunny spells. But for England and Wales, I think after a bright enough start, we're going to find more showers breaking out. And over in the east, they could well merge again into longer spells of rain. So showers are longer spells of rain, really, for the south of the east on Saturday, the north and west getting the driest and brightest of the weather. Another very cool day. Temperatures around 9 to uh, 14 Celsius once again. Move through into Sunday and very gradually this ridge is starting to push in uh, from the west and the low pressure is beginning to move off into uh, Europe. I would have thought Sunday could start unusually cold. There may be ground frost, possibly even touches of air frost, in uh, sheltered rural parts of the country, particularly so up in the north. So you may have to cover up your delicates on Saturday night. But otherwise, actually, Saturday should be a slightly milder day. There'll be more in way of sunny spells coming through. The winds are lighter and a fair amount of dry weather as well. Although eastern and southeast areas, I think, still at risk of some quite heavy showers there. But gradually, it is turning a bit drier and brighter uh, from the west. So temperatures, even though it's a cold start, very cold start, really, the mid-September uh, temperatures may actually reach around sort of 12 to 18 degrees on uh, Sunday afternoon, a little bit less cold, uh, if anything. And then we get through to Monday, the end of the five-day forecast period, when we've got high pressure beginning to ridge in from the southwest. And the wind is turning back into the Atlantic as well. So this will begin to bring uh, much milder air in from off the Atlantic. We lose that northerly. Fair amount of dry weather on Monday. Good deal of um, fine conditions. Probably fair amount of cloud, but there will be sunny spells too. The main thing will be we lose the northerly wind. We lift the temperatures up. So probably ranging somewhere 
around 13 to 19 degrees, which is getting close to sort of the mid-September uh, average, and it will feel uh, much milder, especially so in the east. Finally, just having a look at charts from Weather Outlooks for the next five days. You see the weather in your area. Uh, lots of showers coming up in the north and west today, or persistent rain across eastern Scotland. Eastern areas tending to get the driest of weather, but some of these showers will push through this afternoon. Uh, more showers as we go into Thursday. Longer spells of rain. Uh, potentially in the east. I mean, central and eastern areas uh, could have quite a bit of rain on Friday, persistent as well. Uh, out in the west, that's where the driest of the weather will be. Lots of showers or longer spells of rain with very, very cool temperatures in uh, the south and the east on Saturday. Again, the north and west tending to get the driest and brightest of the weather. And these drier, brighter conditions will gradually start to edge eastwards on uh, Sunday, although still the risk of a few showers in the east even on Sunday, but by Monday, we should be back to mostly dry weather and the temperatures lifting back up to where you'd expect them to be in the middle of September. So, in summary, we're in for a very cool uh, few days, especially so for the east. Temperatures will be quite cold, actually, at times, with showers or longer spells of rain. It's a pretty dismal outlook for eastern parts of the country. Later on, towards the end of the 5D broadcast period, it'll start to turn drier and warmer from the west. That's probably the trend as we go into next week. We'll pick that up with today's second video update. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.